guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I'll be reacting again to episode 18 of The Rising of the Shield Hero. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. It's that cult one, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's what we're going to do. Do what you can. And I wonder who's going to, who's here. Like, if it's not Ren and Dude, because we still don't know what the freak happened to them because of last week in the cliffhanger, because they're not dead. I mean, come on. <laughs> There's no way in hell they're dead. Like, if they... Because we're so close to the end of the show, like, it wouldn't make sense to come them off, you know? I mean, if they were, let's just say, then there's only two left. Now for me, and that guy dang pimp. And nobody would have talked to him. I don't even want to talk to him. I wouldn't want to talk to him if I was now for me, but... <sighs> Oh my god. Mm -mm. Not if they were the last two people in this world alive and having such force to talk to each other. No. Oh my god. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Like, Like an underground tunnel? Uh. True. Take the detour. Make up with them later. Or Ren, they're not down there. The pimp is down there. We really have to go down there. <laughs> you know <laughs> uh. 
<sighs> yeah, the pimp. <sighs> Just talk to him. Exactly. Just one talk. Yeah. See, can, can I kill him? Shit. Oh my god, here we go again with the brainwashing crap. Dude. <sighs> Dude, oh my god. I really hate this dude. Like, he can go suck a dick. No. No, fetal. He has no idea what you're talking about. Instead of fighting him, at least talk to him, damn it. What do you think he did? He doesn't know! Oh, <laughs> I mean, I was joking in the beginning. I didn't think <laughs> he can't be dead. Bro, I swear to God, I swear to God, I want you to shut up so much. Here come this hell. No, 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 no. You had them killed. We already know that because you were watching them. Then you told someone, oh, hey, go kill these two. And we're going to blame it on Alphabet. <laughs> Girl freaking corrupted, like dang, she got problems. But they're probably not even done though. If 
if you haven't seen the bodies and you got your freaking hoe over here saying ish, don't believe her just because she's a part of your team. Go find the bodies first. I hope by the end of the series she died. I said that in episode one, and I still mean it even till now. And now the rest of his party gonna do something finally? Oh my god. Dude, screw you. Go, go, like I said, go suck a dick. Um, yeah, you better block that like you've never blocked anything before. That's fine. That's fine. You say that. <laughs> Two times, woman. Two times you have been wide open, and that's what you get. <laughs> Maybe after this, you know, he might finally, finally, I'm not one hundred percent sure, come to his freaking senses.
It's not lies, it's the truth. Things like God. Will you shut up? Well, yeah, even I know what's up. <laughs> the rage shield? Okay. Why? Will you shut up? Thank you. See, listen to y'all, you guess this <laughs> Um. And see, and it was going to kill the rest of them, too. Mm-hmm. Now, wasn't that the same thing that supposedly killed Itsuki and Ren? Who's that? Is that the guy from the church? See? Mm hmm. See? 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 Do you think he care? Really? Mm -hmm. He's just that corrupted. Oh, yes.
Oh, it is. So then you were the one who killed him. No. He did. Mm -hmm. He about to strike y'all down one by one. I'm guessing that sword is like the purest of all swords that can cut through anything, human flesh, something. But he's he's basically he didn't really admit the fact that he killed Ren and Itsuki, but like the way it looks, it has to be confirmed that the Pope did it. I mean, it was the same energy that was there last week into this week's episode. So my guess is it is the Pope that did do it. But I think it's because of the fact is this Pope is so into this cult and he's getting these followers and more followers and more followers and he's telling um, a false truth. Almost like there, there's some real life people who have also been like that with some situations. Like if you look it up, I have, my mom told me one about this guy who lives in America and he eventually took a whole bunch of followers to live in Africa and then eventually in the end he, um, killed everyone and then also himself and stuff that's the only one that i at this time remember but he he's being like a false god in a way he thinks that he knows everything and anyone who is um who has done wrong automatically needs to be killed or if they're looking too much for something aka ren and itsuki you just die there's no questions or anything just get killed so i mean I, I really don't know what to say about that, honestly, but uh, just him and his followers, it, like, I would assume that this is what would have happened, that he would have had his followers fight for him, and then maybe once he didn't have enough followers, like, mostly, like, let's say, because it looks like there's, like, maybe about, like, 100 people over there with him, so let's say he, let's say he takes, like, 50, those 50 die, he takes the next 50, and it's only him. That's when he finally will say, okay, screw it. Be like Thanos. Be like, let me do it myself. Because y'all some weaklings. And everything. And then, But it still just makes me think that Malty still has something to do with this. Because why would she be watching Ren and Itsuki and then make up this lie saying Nalfami was the one who killed Ren and Itsuki when, you know... When Ren and Izgi supposedly quote quote died, Nalfami was with the Queen. So, <laughs> so um, that all makes sense. <laughs> it's dumb all over here. Freaking thought, like, yeah, he killed him. Kill him. You can see mm -mm. the pimp and the hose, the pimp and the thoughts. That's what it is, right there, right there. Mm. But like, I mean. For Fido to, like, sense the energy coming. And then, like, Nalfami didn't even have to save the other four. He, he just did it. Same thing with Fido. Fido didn't have to kick him and stuff. They could have died, and then that would have been fine. But then, you know, the Pope would have been like, oh, hey, you got killed by the shield hero and stuff. But no, I mean, honestly, like, they better be thinking God, not the Pope. 
but God that they are alive because honestly, like, mm, that makes you want to rethink things. Like, oh, well, maybe, you know, Nelson is not a bad guy. Maybe we should trust him. No, like, let me tell you the truth. You did not write me in, in episode one. Don't, like, say that so that we can finally get over that mess because <laughs> we're about to be on episode 19 by next week and everybody still thinks that. And I, we, he just needs to be cleared of that and I'm getting sick and tired of waiting and slowly but surely we're gonna get to episode 20 and then we're only gonna have six episodes left and I'm just gonna be sitting here when the last episode comes and be like is that hoe gonna finally tell everyone that she ain't get raped by this motherfucker right here and stuff and then you know it's just gonna be a happy ending yeah other than that guys that is my reaction to towards episode 18 of the rising of the shield hero if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the Master squad and of course i will see you guys all officially next wednesday for episode 19 bye guys